There are many different kinds of oils or lubricants that you can use uh, with threading. <clears throat> Here's one that's called a lard oil compound. I've had that around for quite a while. And that's, that's good for threading and it's, it stays on the bolt. The uh, threading fluids do not work all that great because they, they drip off sometimes before they can uh, be useful. But I do use those sometimes. Uh, other real thin oils are uh, of some use, but as long as you get some kind of oil on there. Now when you're doing uh, pipe threading, be sure and use uh, that dark sulfur oil that stinks so bad and you can't get the smell off your hand, but that's m really what you need when you thread uh, pipe. Uh, also when you thread some materials, uh, common lard like you would buy in the butcher shop works pretty well. And on uh, kerosene, or on uh, aluminum and some other materials, kerosene works uh, pretty well. You can also use uh, soluble oils that you find in any machine shop. But do use some kind of lubricant to uh, get a better job and uh, prevent the threads from tearing and uh, to prolong the life of the cutting tool. All the dies are going to be marked uh, as to their size. This is an Ace brand and it's 9 16 diameter and the pitch is 12 and national course. Made in USA. Boy, that must be an old one. They haven't made them in USA in ages. Now there's a front and a back to every die. And uh, sometimes you just need to determine which side has a little bit of a taper on it. But some of these are marked start from this side. So it is. Uh, we would be beginning our thread from this side. Now if they aren't marked uh, as such, determine which side has a little bit of a taper on it and attempt to start the thread from that side. Okay, we're ready to do a little threading. We'll take some of this half inch rod and uh, put a 1 half 13 thread on the end of it, which is a coarse thread. Always start by putting a little bit of a chamfer on the end of That's just a little bit of a bevel. We call it a chamfer when it's on round stock. And we're going to put the work in the vise perfectly vertical. We'll use some of this uh, thread cutting oil. This is a sulfur based oil that is very smelly. This is the dye that we're going to use. We'll use the 1 half 13 which is this one and we'll start from this side where we've got a guide here that will help us to go perfectly straight. We'll put it on there and we're going to exert some pressure pushing down until it engages and then when you go about a half a turn back it off and continue in that manner to whatever length of thread you desire. This is a nice long uh, handled die stock with lots of leverage. And each time we back it off it breaks the chips so that we don't get a uh, damaged thread. There we've got a thread. That's uh, not very long thread. You'd probably go longer than that. Now if you are ever threading against a shoulder, for instance like this piece, reverse the die. If you're using uh, this type of die stock, reverse it and that will get you a deeper thread closer to the shoulder. Now we've got quarter inch round stock and we'll put a little bit of a thread on that. It'll be a 1 fourth 20 which is also a coarse thread. Now uh, I'm not going to use this die stock but this is the type of die stock that holds the hex dies. You don't need to worry about that die slipping or turning in the die stock. But when you install your uh, quarter 20 in this type of die stock there'll be a little bit of a dimple in the uh, die and make sure that that lines up with the set screw and that will keep it from turning. Determine which side is the tapered side and that would be this side and we've got oil on there and we're ready to go and you need to push down on it to get it started. And <clears throat> once it's started then you uh, all you got to do is turn it. About a half a turn or so and back it off. Now you need to uh, see that you're going straight so that I'm perfectly level this way 
and perfectly level this way and try to get that started straight uh, like that before you are very deep into your thread because there is no straightening at once your uh, the full length of the of the die. These small one inch button dies go up to about one half. And when you get larger than that, that's when you have to use the bigger dies which go from nine sixteenths on up to well, at least one inch. And then you can back it off. And there's your thread. We got a little bit of a tear on that, so this is either tough material or I got a slightly dull die. Now if you had a shoulder to thread to, you would want to turn this over and run it on this way, and that'll cut your thread a little bit closer to the shoulder. Like that. Now I'm going to thread the other end of this quarter inch rod and I'll put a fine thread on here. So this is a quarter 28 and this die stock has the little uh, adjustable guide on it almost like a collet or a little three jaw chuck and I've already adjusted that and locked it and uh, determined that it, uh, it fits just right over the, uh, uh, the quarter inch rod. I need to raise that up in the vise a little bit so we got some clearance. And then, I've already got oil on that, again press down to engage it. And then back off. And always about a turn and then back it off to break the chips. I've just come flush there, so now I'll back that off. That won't spin off because that little uh, guide will hold it on. And there we've got a very nice quarter inch 28 fine thread and we know it's on there perfectly straight. And it looks like it's uh, there's no chips out of there, no, no broken teeth, so that's a nice thread. If you were doing a repair job on uh, automobile or something where the thread is fixed into the car or under the car or on the engine or whatever. You could also use one of these uh, hex dies. This isn't a rethreading die. This is hex shaped and it's also quarter 28. It says start from this side and that can be put on there to clean up a thread or uh, if you're under a car and you don't have room to swing uh, a die stock you could just use a regular adjustable wrench on that and run it down and thread or even a standard one inch uh, six point socket with a, a ratchet on there would be most handy. Of course to back it off you got to reverse your ratchet. But that's one nice thing about these little hex dies. I showed you this die a few minutes ago. <clears throat> it's a rigid brand and this is a bolt die. This is not a pipe die. I'm going to do another video on showing how to thread pipes sometime in the future, but we got a ratchet here and we'll start it from this side, on the guide side, that's half inch, and we'll continue this thread a little bit. And you got, you got a ratchet here, so thread that down as far as it already is threaded. And we can we got quite a bit of leverage with this long handle. And you can thread that down as far as you want. The only thing is to back this off, you do have to reverse the ratchet. You're not going to see this kind of a bolt die very often, but nice long handle for leverage. However, you can't get very close to the shoulder because you've got all this guide to contend with. 